Hello all and welcome to today's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say a blessing. Blessed art thou, the Hindu King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us, and graced us with the words of Torah. Please do donate and you speak the words of your turn and mouths and mouths of all your people in Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, our houses, and may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Bless you, Donai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Bless you, Donai, and the king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Bless you, Donai, give the Torah. May Donai bless you and keep watch over you. Make it. May Donai make his presence here and not me be kind to you. May Donai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Our reads are Romans 3 19 through 28, 9 30 through 10 13, 13 1 through 14, 1 Corinthians 5 1 through 13, 2 Corinthians 2 1 through 11. Romans 3, 19 through 28. Now we know that whatever the law says, it speaks to those who are under the law, so that every mouth may be stopped and the whole world may be held accountable to Elohim. For by works of the law, no human being will be justified in his sight, since through the law comes knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of Elohim has been manifested apart from the law, although the law and the prophets bear witness to it. The righteousness of Elohim through faith in Yeshua HaMashiach for all who believe. For there is no distinction, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of Elohim, and are justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is Yeshua HaMashiach, whom Elohim put forth as propitiation by His blood to be received by faith. This was to show Elohim's righteousness because of His divine forbearance he had passed over former sins. It was to show his righteousness at the present time so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Yeshua. Then what becomes of our bless sorry, then what becomes of our boastings? It is excluded. By what kind of law? By law of works? No. By the faith of by the law of faith. For we hold that one is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Romans nine thirty through ten thirteen. What do we? What shall we say then? That, gen, that Gentiles who do not pursue righteousness have attained it. That is a righteousness by, that is by faith. But that Israel who pursued pursued a law that would lead to righteousness did not succeed in reaching that law. Why? Because they did not pursue it by faith. But as if. It were based on works. They have stumbled over the stumbling stone. As it is written, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. Brothers, my heart's desire and prayer to Elohim for them is that they may be saved. For I bear witness that they may have zeal for Elohim, but not according to knowledge, for being ignorant of the righteousness of Elohim and seeking to establish their own, they did not submit to Elohim's righteousness. For Hamashiach is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. For Moses writes about the righteousness that is based on a law that the person who does the commandment shall live by them. But the righteousness based on faith says, Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring Hamashiach down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is to bring Hamashiach up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in mouths and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim, because if you confess with your mouth that Yeshua is Lord, and believe in your heart that Elohim raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, Everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Come on, stop.
Romans 13, 1 to 14. Let every person be subject to governing authorities, for there is no authority except from Elohim. And those that exist have been instituted by Elohim. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what Elohim has appointed. And those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive his approval. For he is Elohim's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is a servant of Elohim, an avenger who carries out Elohim's wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore, one must be in subjection, not only to avoid Elohim's wrath, but also for sake of conscience. For because of this you also pay taxes, for the authorities are ministers of Elohim attending to this very thing. Pay to all what is owed to them. Taxes to whom taxes are owed. Revenue to whom revenue is owed. Respect to whom respect is owed. Honor to whom honor is owed. Owe no one anything except to love each other. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet. And any other commandments are summed up in this word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake up, to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than we, when we first believed. The night is far gone. The day is at hand. So then let us cast off the works of darkness and put them, and put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in daytime, not in orgies or drunkenness, not in sexual immorality or sensuality, not in quarreling or jealousy, but put on the, but put on the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach and make no provision for the flesh to glorify its desires. 1 Corinthians 5, 1 through 13. <clears throat> It is actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you, and of a kind that is not tolerated even among pagans, for a man has his father's wife, and you are arrogant. Ought you not rather to mourn? Let him who has done this be removed from among you. For through us in, for though absent in body, I am present in spirit, and as if present, I have already pronounced judgment on the one who did such a thing. When you are assembled in the name of the Lord Yeshua, and my spirit is present with the power of the Lord Yeshua, you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, so that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? Cleanse out the old leaven that you may be a new lump. As you really are unleavened for Hamashiach, or our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us therefore celebrate the festival, not with the old leaven, but the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. I wrote to you in my letter not to associate with sexual immor immoral people, not at all meaning the sexually immoral of this world, or the greedy, or the swindlers, or the idolaters, since then you will need to go out of the world. But now I am writing to you, not to associate it with anyone who bears the name of brother. If he is guilty of sexual immorality or greed or an idolater, reviler, drunk or swindler, not even to eat with such one, for what have I to do with judging outsiders? Is it not those inside the church whom you are to judge? Elohim judges those outside. Purge the evil person from among you. 2 Corinthians 1 through 11. For I made up my mind not to go, sorry, not to make another painful visit to you. For if I cause you pain, who is there to make me glad but the one whom I have pained? As I wrote, and I wrote as I did, so that when I came I might not suffer pain from those who should have made me re rejoice. For I felt sure of all of you, that my joy would be the joy if, of you, yeah, bleh, bleh, that my joy would be joy of you all. For I wrote to you out of the much affliction, 
in anguish of heart with many tears, not to cause you pain, but to let you know the abundance of love that I have for you. Now if anyone causes pain, if anyone has caused pain, he has caused it not to me, but in some measure not to put it too severely to all of you. For such a one, this punishment by the majority is enough. So you should rather turn to forgive and comfort him, or he may be overwhelmed by excess sorrow. So I beg you to reaffirm your love for him, for this is why I wrote, that I might test you and know whether you are obedient in everything. Anyone whom you forgive, I also forgive, indeed that I have forgiven. If I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake in the presence of Hamashiach, so that we would not be outwitted by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his designs. Blessed art thou, Donai, he knew king of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandment. Wrong one. Blessed art thou, Donai, he knew king of the universe, who gives the Torah truth to save everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Donai, give the Torah brukata, Donai, and he malak haro, mashanatan lenu, tori met vaishilom, netavet, kinu brukata, Donai, and atin hatra. Yeah. I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.